Hello everyone, my name is Tavis Kelly and this is Jessica Rose and welcome to another sequence of Assassin's Creed 3. Hmm. Now nah, you can say hello. Never mind. Oh shush. <laughs> Welcome back. You left me in Boston. Smack you with this book. The training we've done here is pretty, pretty is gorgeous. Well and good, but experience is a better teacher by far. What of my father? Into the wind, I'm afraid. We have to find him, and we will after the house has been repaired. But he's out there plotting who knows what. And what would you do when you found him? If you found him, you're a boy with a few months of training. He's a man, full grown, who spent decades honing his skills. If you're going to stand a chance against the Templars, you're going to need these. Huh? Oh! No toys! Give it! Go on before I change my mind. <laughs> like, put him on, you bastard. And if you notice, the right hand is slightly bulkier than the left because this one is modified to be a knife. One minute. Yeah. You have to go outside. Guess so. What? Please, help! He's going to die! What? 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 Who? What? Who? There's no time! Please come! D okay! Hi, puppy! Bye, puppy! And this is one of the many people who will help me in the homestead. Pairing wise. The beaver. <laughs> really? <laughs> what? Oh, is this Irish bastard? Okay, now how is how am I supposed? To... Don't touch the water. Oh! Not now. Got another one. Bad dog. Well, give me a damn minute, I gotta think! Beaver. Immaturity. So? Buddy. Asshole! Ah, uh, damn it. Missed it. Uh, what was the call? Come on. I think I failed that. Uh. Yep. Well, you know, at the. I don't get how you're supposed to not touch the water. 
Yet same thing. Screw it. I imagine there was a way, but I imagine it was that tree that I didn't get to. Most likely. These were the Irish. These were the two Irishmen I ran into earlier. <laughs> he basically called him an idiot. What were you doing on those logs? One of the dangers of lumbering. We've got the camp set up a few rods off of here as we're cutting timber. We're hoping to open a mill in the area. There's a good place not far from the manor on the hill where I'm staying. <laughs> I like you already. We'll have a look. There's your lumber. Yep. And of course, the homestead people we got marked and screw you on the water! But it wasn't chased by a wolf, it wouldn't have been a damn issue. It would have been nice if you had them all in the. I'll miss facing the right way. We can certainly you realize this. The manor needs a lot of work. That and other things. Meet me at the small shack by the shoreline when you have time. There's something else you need to see. What is it? An asset. An asset? Yep. Probably grab those people. Actually, it could be the left hand is modified. I, I, I don't remember. I mean, it is creepy. Okay, so the homestead person is up here. Mm. Should I go and get that? Yep. You know what? Homestead stuff I can do later. Once I've progressed more into the story. For now, let's just continue. And then, while off screen, that can get worked on. And then we can just work it from there. Jessica will most likely be the bookkeeper in the economy of this place. Mm -hmm. Tired is still creepy. Uh -oh. Yeah. Because it's cheaper. Oh God, it's cold. I see who I gotta meet. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, no, not this guy. Or, 
ship and a crew, and we'll find out what it was he held for dear. I met him once, that happened. He was seven feet tall if he was an inch. I tell ya, legs like tree trunks on a smithy's arms. Almost broke my hand shaking a little low. I could feel it then when I met him. No weapon made by man could harm him. You guys, I... Yeah, we're gonna go over here. Away from the crazy. We're away from the cuckoo. Go away! Say, go away, boy! Do not speak the king's English? Hi! Oh, I didn't see you there, old man. <laughs> I'd have set my home in order if I'd known you'd be calling. The boy's name is Connor. He's here to restore the property. Restore? Restore? Out my manners. She's still the fastest in the Atlantic. Sure, she needs some attention. Minor things, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Minor things, my ass! Who is she? Who is she? Why, the Aquila boy, the ghost of the North Seas. The boat. A, a boat? <laughs> a ship boy, and make no mistake about it. I thought you never tell us never tell a ship in front that of a sailor call a ship a boat because. You said it not end well. Not at all. You able? She does need work. A ship but the Aquila does have yes, history. But I'm lacking in the mm. proper supplies. Some some quality timber would help me get started. Because that, that. is the very ship that How Edward uh, had a comment uh what's up? is able to sail again. Sail. It's the very one that Edward Kenway, Hatham's father, his grandfather, sailed. The one and the same. It's just now a big pile of shit. <laughs> you have to go over and check it out. Basically. I'm not diving in that cold water. <laughs> come, come on. It's like no. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Well, uh, we're gonna get to the part where Connor will be donning the hood, and. I'm gonna save a lot of people. Like I said, I'm gonna save a lot of people grief and trouble in this just by um, doing a lot of the homestead missions and crap like that off screen. Because I feel that that will help more than really anything else. I have something to show you. Come, take a look. What is it? A ledger. It lets us manage the homestead's dealings. And these? Ah, uh, that was years ago. Before the slow fever, before the Templars, before everything collapsed. But that's all in the past. Better we focus on what's in front of us. Take up the ledger, and I'll teach you how it all works. Yeah. The stockpile allows you to purchase items from homesteaders and displays the, the items you currently own. Godfrey and Terry have oak lumber available for purchase. Unfortunately, you have no money. Yeah, well... Godfrey and... Blah, blah, blah. The stockpile now contains lumber. Press circle to leave the stockpile. The oak logs can be sold to, to merchants through convoys. Uh, 
Items must be assigned to the convoy. Select the merchant. Send convoy. You got all that? Yes. Good, because you'll be doing it. What? I can't handle this crap. It, it, business stuff hurts my head. The fact that I'm working at a telemarketing place where I answer other people's calls, that's bad enough. Six months later. What little free time Achilles allowed me was spent learning about the Templar. About Charles Lee and my father. And thus, I am now older. Confront them to put an end to their schemes. To ensure Not my much. remain untroubled and free. But I knew it was too soon. That to approach them now would see me killed. All my work would be for nothing. Well, there's warmer. Patience, restraint. These prove the most difficult subjects for me. Ah! But in Damn! <laughs> You, didn't, you didn't look before you leaped. No, no, I did not. You took the leap of faith, and faith killed you. <laughs> faith said, "Fuck you, asshole!" Oh, hey, I'm already here. Ah. Hmm. The hard way. Come aboard and feast your eyes, boy. No, 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 not the left foot. Never the left foot. Horrible look. Step with your right foot first. <laughs> I never understood that. Neither have I. It's like well, I guess it's the best foot forward. Yeah, but why right over left? Weatherly and sleek. I never You'll understood. You'll fetch 12 knots in a stiff gale, near a ship from here to Singapore can outrun her on her best day. I don't know, when you're... What do you say? Well, when you're falling, which foot do you stick out first, your left or your right? Where would we go? I put my hands out when I go to fall. When you catch yourself with your feet, what do you stick out first? Left or right? Don't worry, lad. I'll make sure you stick out with your sea legs. But when I go to fall, I have my hands out. All in the myself. Sail. Get up the rigging. And no Which is actually the worst thing on, you can do because you can. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> well, for some people, when they fall, a lot of it's the right foot. But I honestly don't know what the significance is. All I know is that okay. us. When you when you want to start off things right, you start with the right foot, I guess. So that's probably his thinking. I don't know. Well, his thinking is... And his thinking probably makes you think you're retarded, so I don't know. Hey, what did I say about that word? I'm using it loosely, but can you please grab that? Vita. I'm just trying to finish up the... <sighs> Come on, lad. No time like the present. Check the hatches! Come on, come on, she won't bite. Oh! You thought you lied. Half sail. Half sail. Ah, yeah, killer flies again. I swear, when I first played this, I was having so much fun with this. Set a course for Martha's Vineyard. We'll find our guns and officers there. She's a nimble vessel, but the faster she goes, the more cumbersome she grows. And the firmer your hand needs to be. Enjoy this stretch of open water before we come upon those shallows. Call for full sail if you like. Full sail! Bend them all, full sail! 
He seems rather nicer when you're when he's not drunk. Wind looks to be shifting. Oops. Oh! Whoa! 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 Okay. Okay. Half sail. I I put it at half sail. Thank you. Fucking wind changing direction. Ah, but the wind always changes directions. Ah! We have to shut the fuck up. Fuck you. Oh, you fuck yourself, you fucking twat! Ah, I may have one, but you have yet <laughs> to complain, love. And you get to complain uh, also. Uh, I'm complaining now, aren't I? Yes. Now, take okay. us through these shallows. <laughs> As I should be. Careful not to run up on them. The sandbars will slow us down, but the rocks will put a hole through a hole. And if you want to make a quick tack, call for half sail. She's more maneuverable then. I want everything! Unfurl everything! Full sail! Rain her in to half sail! Ease her off! Half sail! Mind those other vessels! Hold your tap to keep your right of way! Spin in the wheel! It's just like driving. Yeah. Full sail. Full sail. Only worse. Because you can't see where the fuck you're going. Yeah, that. Yeah, when it came to doing the sailing, I, this was probably one of my best times. No, who? We need to ease off half sail. Thank you, drunky. Full sail. Full sail. Go get that wind. Cartridges. We're close. Slow her down to half sail. Bring her to full stop. No sail, haul in everything. Oh, hello, Miss Randy. You're looking every bit as ravishing as I remember. <laughs> After all these years, you sail all the way to the vineyard to pay me compliments. We are looking for David and Richard Clutterbuck. <laughs> nice to see you too. <laughs> Robert Faulkner, where the hell you been? Bottom of the bottle. Sorry for leaving like I did, lads, but where I was going, no one could know. You two working much? No, between contracts at the moment. Well, we're looking for gunnery officers. What would you two say to working with me again? They <laughs> look at each other. For getting into a few more scraps. <laughs> Good show. The killer is a fine vessel. We're fitting all the guns as we speak. Looks like your friend's about to catch a beating. Where is Charles Lee? I don't uh -oh. care for your tone. Hey, you don't want to be doing that, Biddle. Biddle? Bobby Faulkner turned to wet nursing. It's good you finally realize you're a shite sailor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh! Oh, here, gentlemen. Better still, not at all. Bobby, take your friends and get out! Let's go, boys. Our guns. That's one of the guys on the go wall. On. <laughs> you 
Caleb. Yeah, big shiver there. I could tell. This pack will do us good for a long while. Give me that damn wheel. I don't know what you're doing. The older man is a Templar. Who was he with? A Templar? The young buck was Nicholas Biddle. Nobody. Sails before the mast. Midshipman for the crown. Are the guns ready? Aye, but we won't jump in over our heads. We'll find a suitable target and show you how they work. We've fitted her with a modest amount of guns to start, but rest assured there's ample room to add more should you feel the need. Ease her up! Looks like a British frigate with half seas over. Should do nicely for a spot of target practice. Bring her round broadside, and when all guns are on target, call fire. Ready up to fire! On my mark! And fire! Load them up! Double time! Well be done, boy! Sir. Now, aim all guns at her bow and do as much damage as possible. Prepare to fire! Fire front side! Aim that to the thief! Some old powder in there! Good! Now give the swivel guns a turn. More precise. Hit those old powder barrels and the <laughs> sky. I should probably mention this now. I am never good when it comes to bracing.
Give him to you. Simple. You got a ship. Could find him all to boot. Who is that man? Him? Some old soul's always on about lettuce he's got from Captain Kidd. Nonsense, really, but he doesn't hurt no one, so I'll leave him be. Talk to him if you fancy, but be warned he'll chew your ear off. Anyway, <laughs> the keel is here for you. If you should get a pang to the open sea, we'll be waiting. Now I implore you to head up the hill before the old man comes out of retirement just for me. <laughs> and not even a goodbye before you left. Sorry. Well, what are you waiting for? Uh, I don't know. Put them on. Yay! Slightly modified, though. Once upon a time, we had a ceremony on such occasions. But I don't think either of us are really the type for that. You've your tools and training, your targets and goals. And now, you have your title. Welcome to the Brotherhood, Connor. Look at me. Look how handsome I am. But yeah, like I said, slightly modified pants, Indian. Some of the straps, is, as well as Indian, the feathers. Bow. Oh yeah, the bow he carries anyway. The bow is somehow seemingly going through this chest and clothes or something like that. I don't know. You'll be happy to hear there's actually good news for once. Oh joy. Yeah. Yeah. I've managed to locate a power source and it's relatively close by. Up for a trip to Manhattan? Is it safe to leave? Abstergo's gotta be looking for us. Obviously it's not safe. Can't exactly sit around here hoping to get lucky though, can we? We need that power source. Besides, I'm sure you can cook up some way to hide our movements. Maybe. The Templars have access to all kinds of satellites and camera systems. We'll need to find a way to mask our digital signature. I can probably camouflage the van, too. But there's not much I can do for us. That's an easy one. Now be Desmond. Boy, doesn't he look like an assassin? Let's look at him. Local utility companies have assured the public that they're completely prepared for the upcoming solar maximum. Disruptions to service are expected to be minimal. If only they knew. What's this? A remote operated camera. It'll provide us with a feed while you're on mission. This will let us talk to each other. We're almost there, so listen up. The artifact is in an office penthouse in Lower Manhattan. At this time of night, direct infiltration is gonna get you noticed. I think we're better off having you drop in from above. 
What do you mean above? <laughs> Get a parachute. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're an asshole, Dad. So after this little fun trip here in Manhattan. Okay, okay. Seriously, Sean? Fuck you. <laughs> people would pay you enough to do this? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I do not do heights. Especially this high up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm hey, there's the passing cars down there! Oh shit, you really high! They're cars? I thought they were lights. They were! They're lights from the cars! You ain't doing it. <laughs> I don't care how much you pay me, I ain't doing it. You want that? You, you want something done up there? You go do it yourself. Shut up, Sean. Everyone's telling Sean to shut the hell up. Because. On the bright side, no security. On the not so bright side, you misstep and you're effectively pace. <laughs> Don't you love the enthusiasm that that guy gives? He's always so positive. Where the hell am I going? Seriously, where am I going? Oh. Do, 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 At least they gave you a parachute. Oh, well, yeah. So if you do fall, you're not really becoming. Yeah, but I think this is like a one shot thing. <gasps> oh, God. I don't even know what building I'm on. Should? It'll be fine, don't worry. Well, you might want to worry a little. I'm pretty sure she was high when she was running the numbers. Sean! A joke! It was a joke! Or was it? Kinda makes you wonder if there's ever a mod where you can... It can be shown that you're beating the ever-living god out of a Sean. Am I up 
we go. Do the dippy, 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 dippy top. Oh, God. Jump when you're ready, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> what? What did she say? I missed it. She said, "Just jump when you're ready." Now, open your chute now. Yeah! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> to the top of a fucking building. So I suggest you shut the hell up as I beat your face. Who the hell is Daniel Cross? Believe it or not, he used to be an assassin. The assassin, the way I've heard it told, but it turned out he was a sleeper agent for Abstergo, programmed to infiltrate and destroy the organization. How did he know you were there? We could be compromised. They must have caught me snooping inside their network and sent Cross to see what we were after. If they were aware of our current location, we'd know. Though, I will say this. It doesn't bode very well for future expeditions. No shit. I set up some cameras topside. If anyone shows up, we'll see it. I'd suggest you go see about finding a socket for that power source. Or we can return to Connor if you prefer. All the artifacts in the world won't mean a thing without the key. Yeah, well... I'm gonna call the video good here, honestly. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this as much as, well, we have. Uh, pretty much the way how this is going to go is that I'm not going to bother you guys so much as what goes on out here. It really is needed. Yeah. So, a lot of it is just going to be dealing with uh, Connor. Because, believe it or not... Unity and Rogue, based on what I've heard, there's no transition to modern world. It's literally straight up story. There, there's nothing about Desmond because Desmond is dead. There's no word on whether any of it's connected. Well, considering Rogue is not really connected to him. But I guess we may as well see that Unity and Rogue are just now Abstergo product placements that people can use to live the life. I mean, kind of like how Black Flag was, if you guys know anything about that, but you'll see soon enough. So, anyway, thank you again, and uh, thanks to the lovely assistance of my wonderful girlfriend. And as always, we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.